Hey folks, how's it going? Welcome to our second esports open of the day for Florida Atlantic University. Running it back with some more Smash Bros. We've got a small bracket here. We're going to do a three player round robin, and our first match is between Tay and Jed. Our third competitor uh, is Kiezy, who, if you were watching in the last tournament, you probably saw. Kiezy did place in second during that tournament. But, we'll start things over. Fresh bracket. And we're going to have Jed playing Ness, Tay playing Donkey Kong. We'll start things off on Final Destination, ironically enough. Oh! The Ness forward smash just a little bit faster than the Donkey Kong forward smash there. Beats it out. Table to land with the Nair. Oh, but Tex in place and Jed picks that right up with the PK fire. Oh, catches the ledge jump. No double jump for Jed. Has to up the high and gets hit by the forward smash. Unfortunate to get caught during that double jump. Once again, double jump's gone, but this time Jed able to land with the down air. It's caught by the get up attack. Oh man. I can't believe that forward air just beat out the up B and the PK flash. Catches Tay by the ledge to even up the stocks. Tay gets zapped. No follow up though. Oh, and runs right into the forward smash. It's all the way across the stage though, so it won't KO. But the second one will. Jed once again not quite able to hit the ledge on the angle of the up B. He gets one hit on the up smash. Doesn't connect to the finishing hit. Tay gets back to center stage. Once again, catches the double jump. Building up some nice damage here on Jed's last stock. Jed goes for forward throw and Tay. Oh my goodness, the parries. On the PK flash. Once again, try and PK flash, but Tay makes it right to ledge. Cargo throw, back throw, no tech from Jed, and Tay's gonna take it with a two stock. It's all gonna be best of three. So, Tay one game away from winning the set. One step closer to winning the tournament. We do have prizes for this tournament. First place, we'll get a gaming keyboard, a mouse, and a blue microphone. I think it's a blue snowball. And then second place gets a wireless gaming headset and LED webcam. Not sure what LED webcam means. Maybe it has lights on it. But either way, it's cool. And you want it. And two-thirds of the tournament will receive prizes here. Ready? Jed is going to make the switch to Piranha Plant. Interesting. Did not like the look of how that nest match went. Try the luck with the plant. Going for these up Bs above the stage. That will certainly leave you vulnerable on the way back down. the 
shield up, but he's not finding out of shield punish. And Tay once again building up this damage. Oh, and hits the nair on the up B, but that piranha plant recovery is so strong, makes it back, but rolls right into the forward smash. And so Tay off to a good start. Finds another grab. Wow, Jed mashes out of it so quick. <laughs> the jab on the very edge of that platform will keep Tay in the combo a little bit longer. Runs into the spike ball after hitting the dash attack. Oh my goodness, finds the spike! And Tay takes a commanding lead. Go up throw up air finds a second one. Oh, and the forward air to boot big damage coming through Sweeps across stage with the up B oh another high up B from Jed but makes it work finds the up smash afterwards to take the stock so Jed on the board here Looking for another spike to finish off his set. It's clipped though. Yeah. Oh, but the cargo throw back throw and Jed once again not ready to slam that trigger button and hit the tag. So it will be Tay taking a 2 0 set win here. Okay, up next on stream, it's going to be Tay versus Piaz. Piaz? Piaz? Piazzi? If I remember correctly, Piaz was a Palatina player? Maybe? We'll see. I'll put it on the overlay for now. There's PAs. Ready? Donkey Kong Ditto. Insane. Let's see it. Three, two, one, go! Oh, 
he is one of the time. Tay does not oblige. Oh my goodness. Tay coming out swinging. Oh, and only clips PAs with the up B, but still untouched. And the up smash hits zero to death for Tay. Still going. My goodness. Shields the downer as well. Oh, gets the jab lock with the down tilt. Yeah, Tay would, in fact, win the tournament uh, if he were to win this set. Oh, burns the giant punch. But still absolutely in control. Gets hit by every hit of the up B. Oh, but that's going to be a shield grab and goes for the cargo down throw off stage. Oh, and the high up B goes unpunished. Tay does find the grab. 176 PAs hanging on to this stock by a thread. And the tech chase nair on the platform of Small Battlefield gets the job done for the stock. Small Battlefield is technically a counterpick stage in our rule set, so... Uh, you know, not technically allowed, but hey, once the game gets going, the result will stand. Buried? Clapped? Oh! Just missing on the giant punch, and Piaz puts one into the shield of Tay and finds the forward smash, so Piaz at least not getting blanked on the game, finding a stock. Oh no. Yeah, that's an SD. Unfortunate. But Tay will take it. And it's a 1-0 lead here in what would be the deciding game of the tournament. Deciding set, I should say, of the tournament if Tay were to win. <laughs> Impressive stuff. He's making the switch to Byleth. I am not entirely surprised by that. <laughs> there is a possibility here that PAs could come in second place in both tournaments. Winning the head <laughs> two headsets and two webcams. Switching to Lucina. Was that after PA said switch? Because that's not allowed. But again, once you begin the game, there's no going back. Once you start fighting for real. The loser of the previous game does get to choose character second. Maybe it's just the case that either way, Kays wanted to go with the Byleth. Oh! Side B from 
ledge works out. Dancing blade. But fall short of the ledge on the up B. Oh, forward smash out of the shield. Gets the job done. and finding a forward smash. is the other way. Gets out the side B from ledge this time, but the falling side B works out. Ooh. Big arrow coming through. Jay wants nothing to do with it. Oh. Doesn't have the percent to get the spike hit yet. Ooh, and that forward smash on shield. Gonna be punished. Before the town B comes out. And putting up the shield every time. PA's really swinging. Going for these big hits. And, you know, in a way it makes sense given the deficit, but. It is allowing Tay to get a lot of free punishes. Tomahawk forward smash. He's dropped the shield. The Nair does it. And Tay is your winner. With a 2-0 win over Piaz. Picked up a 2-0 win over Jed as well. So, we will run Jed versus Piaz to determine who gets second place. That'll be the end of it. A real quick one. There's Jed. see what characters these players choose. We've seen a couple from each of them already. Jed Rock in the nest as well as the Piranha Plant. PA is playing Donkey Kong and Byleth. PA is trying to repeat that second place performance from earlier today as we mentioned. Random. Love to see it. Pace gets Sheik, Jed gets Roy. Alrighty. And we will go to one, Final Destination. Go. Oh my goodness. Big forward smash right off the bat. Looking 
for that eruption. for the down air. Ah, with the up tilt, no jump, but Jed up and back to ledge. Oh, delays the last hit of the double edge dance. That might just have either KO'd or certainly set up for an edge guard, but finds the forward smash and takes the stock nonetheless. Ooh. Jed is swinging. Oh no. Recovery error. Marching up this eruption, hoping that PS runs into it. Up smash, not gonna do it quite yet. Oh, no punish on that up B above the stage. No double jump. He's carrying Jed. Can't quite carry him far enough though, and Jed finds the forward smash. Just hits the back air to avoid being hit by the eruption from Roy. Ooh, scoop. Juggle. Wow, and the up smash does it. Jed takes the lead here in the set. The final set. Random once again. Leaving it all to chance. And it's Wolf Pikachu. Not bad rolls here if you're just considering you know, the, the tier list. Doesn't be much worse. Looks like it's Jed playing Pikachu. Gaze with the Roy. So with the wolf, excuse me. Charges up the up smash. Gaze runs into it. Oh, and the clank. Ugh. Rolls away. They keep swapping places with each other by the ledge. Finally, Jed able to send Gaze off stage, but side B makes it back. Rolling. It's looking like Smash 4 neutral. Gaze strikes first, though. Forward throw from Gaze. Usually it's a uh, down throw dash attack that you're looking for at low percent for Wolf. Oof. Get like a 
truck. He's hanging on to the stock. It's tossed with the back throw. These two fighting for the prize. We know that it's Tay who's taking first place, but who is going to be runner up? Of down airs. Oh, and PA's falls too far below the stage. He's taking some sweet time up there on the platform before dropping back into battle. Take a deep breath. Control. Pease gets out of there. Roll. Smash attack. <laughs> Shed. Building up a lead. Oh, <laughs> they side beat. Both missing each other. Ooh. for the finishing touch now. Oh, and that's it. Jed takes the set 2-0 and will finish in second place for the tournament. Alrighty. That's a quick one. GG's, everyone. Hey, if you'd like to join in on our community Discord server, I'll pop the link in the chat there. We'd love to have you. It's a good time. Looking to get some more engagement there. Thank you for hanging out with us here today for both FAU tournaments. Appreciate having everyone out. Let me check and see if we've got anything else coming up for you guys. No, it looks like not. But hey, if you like tournaments like this, be sure to tell your student activities folks that you'd like to play some more video games. We've got a number of games that we have to offer. If there's something you like playing, chances are we can run a tournament for it. So once again, thank you all for having us to run this tournament. I've been Mikey, your commentator. Big congrats to Tay for taking the dub here. And thank you to our other two competitors, PAs and Jet as well. We will see you next time. Have a good night, everyone.